Hi there, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about hydraulic spheres. Again, we've talked quite a lot in the past about silver shadow spheres that take the RR363 brake fluid. In 1980, Rolls-Royce invented introduced the mineral oil um, hydraulic system. They changed from using the RR363 and they used a mineral oil. Um, that was with the introduction of the Rolls-Royce Silver Spirit and the Bentley Morsan. Also the Corniche and the Bentley Continental. They went over, I think, slightly earlier. Um, the same principle with the hydraulic sphere. Uh, this is the CD6000 GMF. This is the one for the brakes. It's the same. Does the same job as the uh, sphere on the Silver Shadow, where there's a diaphragm inside, high pressure gas on one side, and that um, stores pressure when you start pumping pr uh, fluid into it. So that's like the battery of pressure, that's the reserve of pressure for the hydraulic system. There's two of these, two systems, so you've got the two brake pumps still, the two valve bodies, two spheres, obviously the valve body is different. This is more like a, a, a standard Citroen setup. It's very similar to a Citroen setup, but the, the pressures are different in the sphere. So you can't just go and buy a Citroen sphere and bolt it on because you won't get the right pressure in the system. You won't get the right flick up pressure. I think these are a thousand PSI, same as the Silver Shadow ones, or 900 and something. Um, basically the same as this, which is the GMF 1106. Now, this is the rear gas springs. These screw in above the rear suspension struts and they do a completely different job. These actually, because the way the height control works on their mineral oil cars is they have a hydraulic ram, which is also your suspension damper. And rather than the Silver Shadow, where they had a, a normal damper and then a ram above it, which actually lifted the suspension separately, these have the damper, which is hydraulically pressurized to give you a different height. So above the damper, if you obviously just had that damper with pressurised oil in it, you're going to get a lock, the suspension is just going to lock up, but what this allows you to do is that pressure is actually acting on the diaphragm, so this is an actual spring. So this screws into the valve body on top of the damper, and when the suspension goes up and you push the telescopic damper up, it pushes the fluid into this and against the pressure behind the diaphragm. So that's got a completely different pressure to the CD6000. Um, this is much higher pressure. And I think if you put one of these in place, your suspension is just gonna go solid because it won't be able to move the pressure inside the sphere. Um, there's actually two different types, an early and a late one. They, um, they change them. It, you can actually interchange them. There's no real difference in pressure. Uh, it's GMF1039. Both of these take the same O-ring, uh, they, they screw in, the, the fitting's the same, whoops, just lost it. So this sits in a reset, a recess inside the valve body. Um, when you fit this, what you can risk doing is actually, as you get it near the end, that O-ring just, it will actually just slip out of the recess, it's quite a shallow recess, and then instead of compressing the O-ring, you actually pinch it, and then high pressure fluid is just going to pour out. So these ones are a bit more fiddly because they're up in the boot. So you have to take the, the boot trim out and uh, and gain access to them that way. Obviously depressurize the system before you touch them. But then when you're spinning these on, you can just about get them in. Um, and you've just got to make careful that you don't um, misplace the O-ring as you screw it up. Um, they're, they're pretty much, you can usually get them off with a pair of um, big plumber's grips, but if they're tight, sometimes people air chisel them off, but then you risk damaging other parts on the car, the valve body. Um, but apart from that, they're, these are just straightforward replaceable. You throw them in the bin or recycle them, but they are not something that you can actually overhaul. There's no diaphragm that you can get there. As you can see, they're welded shut and then uh, like permanently packed off. Not like the shadow one that you can dismantle and rebuild. So that's pretty much it. If you've got any questions, please comment on uh, and we'll try and get back to you with the right answers. We're going to do our questions again.
So you can win the, the Bentley cap and a free goodie bag. And the question is, what year did Rolls Royce and Bentley go to active ride suspension? So they changed from just normal dampers to a hydraulically, sorry, an electronically adjustable damper with um, an ECU. So what year was that change done? So answers on Facebook, the first person to answer on Facebook will win the Bentley cap and the goodie bag. That's all for now.